Hi, this is JC with Rob for me. Who do we have, Nicole? Hi, my name is Stephen. Hi, Stephen. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you, JC? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Um, I was wondering if you're um, waiting for someone else in your team? No, it's just you today. It's going to be me today. All righty. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your business? What do you do? How do you normally plan your routes? And what would you like to see Rob for me do? Yeah, so uh, my company, uh, we, we sell uh, pet food. Um, and we make uh, regular deliveries uh, to okay. new customers uh, that come through on our website. Uh, we currently have five drivers uh, that run a mix of routes. Uh, and when new orders come through on the website, we usually just have to manually enter them in um, uh, on like a Google Maps or really whatever the driver prefers. Uh, we don't really use a routing software right now. Um, a lot of it's just okay. kind of handled uh, by my secretary. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the issue is, is new orders for us. When new orders come through, it has to be manually entered. Okay. And I, I understand you have fixed routes? Like each driver has their own route? Yep. Okay. And um, let's see. So the orders come in through your website, through your uh, POS. Do they answer the phone call? Is there a mix? Yeah, it's definitely a mix. Okay. Alrighty. Well, um, let me show you how Rafferme can help you. Um, solve the routing problem without having to worry about hiring more people because I, you know, for what you're telling me, I, I will understand that your business is kind of getting uh, more and more business and it's getting hard to handle. Am I correct? Yep, that's correct. Okay. All right. Well, let me go into Route for Me. As you can see right now, I'm on the, on the homepage. So I'm going to go into the account and... Um, once I go in there, the system will take me into my save routes. I have two routes previously saved, and uh, we, I'm going to show you how to compare those. Um, and basically, what I want you to do with this is um, grab your existing routes, put them into the system, into Route for Me, and we're going to compare what you've been doing versus what Route for Me will do for you. Okay? Um, the first thing I want to show you is our section called the address book map. So Route for Me is divided into two major functionalities. One of them is the address book map or the address book section, which is a um, database of your customers. And the other section is where you can just simply uh, upload a list of addresses or type in a few addresses, plan a route, and off your drivers go. Okay? But the most relevant section for you will be the address book map um, or the address book in general. So I'm going to go into the address book map and show you what we can do from there. So apart from uploading your entire customer database, all of your customers, you can create um, a recurrence based on when is it that you want to visit your customers. So for example, let's take a look at store one, 184. And um, I'm going to right click on it and click edit. And as you can see on the schedule, I can add a new schedule and say, do I need to visit this customer daily? I can do weekly. Do I do it once a week, twice a week? Is it every Tuesday or every Friday? And once you enable this, this address will show in your calendar. Okay. Once we save it, this address will show in your calendar whenever it needs to be visited. Do you have any questions so far? Nope, not so far. Okay. So I'm going to do calendar. And in the calendar, you'll be able to see what addresses have to be visited that day. Okay. If you have any orders that come in from your website, um, I'll show you that section where you can actually have your the orders that come in through your website into our um, order section. As you can see on the 23rd, 
I have four orders coming in and there are eight addresses that need to be scheduled. So based on when you have to visit that customer, the system will keep track of that and any orders will be added into it. Now on your right hand side you'll see a hybrid editor. That's where we need to go. We just select the day. We go to load hybrid editor. And then the system will show me the addresses that I need to plant. Okay? So right now we see all of them. Let me take out the address book map from the view. And these are the addresses that we're going to route for. Okay? Once we're ready, we go to reoptimize. And the system is going to ask us for a departure point. So we're just going to confirm that. And let's just have an address ready here. Just going to use a similar one from this one, and we're just going to click OK. Oop, for some reason this one's not working out. Let me just change it. Let's go with that one. Excellent. Then the system goes to work and includes all of your orders and all of your schedule stops and creates a route. As you can see, I have a starting point right here. I go to number one, two, three, four, and then we'll follow the sequence that has been optimized. Do you have any questions? No, that looks great. That looks like that would be really helpful. Excellent. Through the settings of this section, you can actually change how you plan the route. You can actually plan a round trip, determine which address you want to finish with, um, tell the system if you want to plan for more than one driver, and uh, uh, we'll teach you how to use all those functionalities once you move forward. We'll put you through an onboarding uh, process and um, you'll learn how to use all the functionalities behind it. Uh, let me show you the order section right here on the left hand side on the blue menu. You can see how uh, orders have been coming in from a website and you can actually add new orders as they come in. Just put in the address, the name, um, you, you want to do some location uh, details, you can add custom data to it, you can create a time window, you can schedule it, again, simple um, calendar there. Once you save it, orders will come in here, and if you need to separate your orders from your regular schedules, um, all you have to do is just select this one and plan a separate route from, from your orders, from your um, calendar schedules. Make sense? Yep. Okay, excellent. So what we're going to do, uh, once you start using Route for Me, we're going to go into the Plan Route section, and what, you, what we need you to do is to grab your route currently, whether you put it in an Excel file, whether we copy and paste the addresses, or just type in the addresses. I think the fastest way will be to upload a file. What you want to do is create a route based on that. You're going to name the route as existing, then you're going to go into the optimization and disable the optimization section like this so that the system doesn't change anything that you had planned before. Okay? Once you do that, you can do the same process without the disabling. Okay? So at that point, you just create a single driver so that you can compare the five existing routes that you have later on with what route for me can do. In any case, it will always be better for you to plan routes daily as opposed to having um, a list of stops on each driver that they don't visit every day. Even though they have their own specific area, they actually have to go each day and figure it out which visits they have to make. They're not going to go through all the stops and just stop at the ones that they have to stop, are they? Uh, I'm sorry, say that again? When you when you have your existing routes, your your fixed routes, let's say you have a hundred stops in that in one route, your driver doesn't go every day to each every every yeah, stop correct. in that route. Yeah, people people right? don't need orders every day because it's pet food. It's exactly. Food, yeah. So it might as well just plan your routes based on what needs to happen that day, yeah. which is exactly what the system is going to do for you. So um, the last thing I want to show you is how you can compare your routes. Okay. Very easy and quickly, you can select routes like this, 
I have an example here for an old route and an optimized route. And all you have to do is just go into the view section and, um, I'm sorry, not the view section, the file, compare, selected routes. See that right there? Yep. And at this point, you can start seeing, uh, you know, differences between how the route was planned. Uh, you can see how the system is changing the sequence from what originally was planned versus to what the system will calculate. And you can see the mileage changes. You can see how the total time for the route varies a little bit. And let's see. You can see uh, well, I don't have any variables on the cost and all that, but you can add this type of um, information into the into the route, and actually the system will calculate it for you so that you can see a dollar value difference between one route and the other. Make sense? Yep, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You can see how the estimated distance for each route varies by a few miles, which in turn, you know, uh, it's a lot of money you'll be saving every day. All right. Not only that, Stephen, but you can actually, once you're using a route for me, you can actually realize that your drivers can cover more stops in a given day than they were actually expecting to do so before. Uh, simply because now that they're optimized, they can actually handle more stops. And without, without the need of hiring more drivers, you can actually become more profitable. Okay? Okay. Can you, can you see that? Yep, definitely. All right, fantastic. Well, do you have any more questions at this point, Stephen? Yeah, I just have one. Um, mm -hmm. So, how uh, how easy is it is it to uh, configure my e-commerce with this uh, order system that you just showed me? Well, it's it's very easy. All you have to do is just uh, um, grab your API key, which we will we will provide for you, and um, uh, then through your through your e-commerce website, uh, we'll create an integration and orders will start coming in from your website directly to this. It's really not complicated at all. Oh, great. Yeah, I think that would be just a few a plugins. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Awesome, JC. Well, Alrighty. that answered all my questions. That looks like definitely something that we could use to help uh, save us some time, especially with new orders. Fantastic. All right, Stephen, well, let's get you going with this um, order section so that we can start the process of integrating your, your website, and uh, we'll move forward that way, okay? Cool. Sounds great. All right, Stephen. Great work with you today. You have a good day, okay? We'll be in contact. Awesome.